everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to show you part two of the time-lapse it's going to be a portrait painting realistic portrait painting it's a commission This is going to be one of three paintings and right now I'm focusing on uh, painting number one And later on I'm going to post the uh, rest of the paintings uh, on the YouTube as well so you can see the um, realistic abstract and uh, mix uh, version of it so um, I'm hoping that that's going to be exciting For this uh, painting uh, specifically I had to make a um, little uh, stand, uh, wooden stand that uh, allow me to uh, sit and focus on uh, more uh, details in the painting. Um, the painting needs a little bit more attention as well as uh, um, a different form of um, expression of marks and uh, uh, color so I kind of want to um, literally sit down and uh, uh, paint. I didn't want to use uh, easel. I have one easel in my studio but at this point um, I wanted to have something different so I made this uh, little stand and uh, you can also uh, see how simple it is. Um, it's uh, basically a uh, um, couple pieces of uh, scratch pieces uh, of wood that I found in the studio and uh, um, uh, pre-cut and uh, I just uh, uh, use a couple of screws, a little bit of glue and uh, uh, nail gun and that allowed me to create that uh, uh, little stand that is actually very useful and uh, I might be actually using it for the future uh, projects as well so uh, that way um, I can create a little bit different body of work, maybe uh, start making um, uh, smaller works like this uh, I don't know it's a little bit different for me uh, when I uh, paint directly on the wall um, it's a different way of um, um, expression or different way of mark making or um, uh, different focus as well so uh, uh, this uh, little stand uh, and sitting on the table allows me to uh, create different types of uh, details uh, in the painting. So uh, take a look and uh, see if that's something um, you would like to use in your studio as well. You can uh, buy uh, ready-made, probably uh, there are some available in the stores. Uh, I uh, like to make uh, my things uh, myself, um, that allows me a little bit more flexibility and uh, I don't have to um, um, stress that if I'm not going to use it uh, again um, that I waste money or so uh, take a look and let me know what you think. As you can see in the time lapse, uh, I am using a very small brush that allows me to focus on more uh, details. Uh, I also um, limited uh, my color palette just to uh, three colors. Uh, basically, I'm using a cobalt uh, and uh, burnt amber, Van Dyke brown and a uh, little bit of uh, yellow um, with uh, titanium white so um, that way I'm um, just uh, 
uh, making sure that I'm not introducing too many colors uh, in the portraits that allows me to um, uh, focus on uh, what's important in the painting. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it uh, with uh, your friends. Um, thank you to all who subscribed uh, recently to my channel and uh, to those who um, uh, watched my uh, videos. Thank you and see you in the next uh, video. Bye bye.